Hey guys, y'all remember Amp Heart, right? Amp Heart used to be one of the strongest characters in Eternal Return back in Season 1, but now her ENAV form has really taken over as the primary way to play her. What's poppin' everyone, it's your boy Levi, and if you ask me, I definitely think Amp is the more fun way to play her. With an addition of augments, I think at the very least she's playable this way again. Here's the build I decided to go, just your standard Amp build, nothing more, nothing special. For augments, you definitely want red sprite, it makes her initial Q hit like a truck. Back in the day, you would put your evolve points in E for the skill amp, and the remaining one in Q. I think it's probably still the ideal way to do things, but if you're not a great heart player like me, you can put two evolve points in Q and your remaining one in E. Two points in Q increases the slow when your Q hits and gives you more time to assess and react to things. Starting out in archery, you'll notice this build is really similar to the Hedgen build, just with a guitar. There's nothing special that you need to do in the early game. All I want to note is that you're super weak early on. Like, a strong gust of wind is probably enough to take you out. Use your E to route as fast as possible and get your items. I like to go for an early meteorite to get Cabana. It helps a lot and you don't necessarily need to be strong to contest it. Your all-in is piss poor, but your poke is pretty good. There wasn't anybody at my meteorite, but poke with Q and red sprite, and if you get all-ins on, use your panic button ult to reset the fight. If they blow any big cooldowns before you ult, they're pretty likely to back off. I ran into Kathy after meteorite, which I use as a damage check. Unfortunately, if someone gets to jump onto you and you have to E away, if you're close enough to your target, your red sprite will get consumed on one of your E's. It is a short cooldown though, so charging your Q is long enough for most of the time to recharge. I did a nice chunk to Kathy and she ran off. You can see here the benefit of having two points in Q. Magnus gets slowed by a lot here and he isn't really able to catch me. Fighting Magnus is pretty tricky as heart. You want to make sure that you ult a little bit earlier than normal because if he gets on his bike and you ult, it will shoot directly at you. You also want to make sure that he's in your ult. Don't ult if he's outside the range. Wait for him to come into it. If he bikes into your ult from the outside, it gets launched at you again. With a lot of people fighting in forest, I poke down whoever I can hit from the outside. I wasn't able to steal any kills, but I do think I was responsible for the Nikki dying. Magnus chases me for a bit, but I kite him with Q slows and eventually finish him off too. This next chunk of the match isn't too exciting, so I'll give you a quick summary. I get a meteorite off wolves, and since I'm in forest already, I use it with the tree to get a force core. I TP to Avenue to find another tree on the Yuki's dead body, and then have a long drawn out fight with Jara. I eventually kill her after missing some point blank Qs. I finish making my halo, make some slippers, and then TP the hotel. In hotel, I make my glacial shoes, and I figure this was as strong as I was going to get. There's no way in hell that I was going to get Wick, and the final zone being a 1v1 versus Chara, I wasn't feeling that confident. I had just done a video of how broken Chara was, but I don't think that matchup is that bad for Heart. I'm going to speed this up, because spoilers, this is the longest final zone 1v1 of all time. Basically, you just want to poke from a distance and dodge her E. If you get hit or need to dodge, use your E's, but don't engage her while they're on cooldown. All that's left is repetitive Q pokes until she gets frustrated and hard commits onto you, or you poke her down and she dies. Use your ult and try to stop her from executing with her ult. Got pretty close towards the end, but lucky the Chiara probably didn't watch my Chiara guide and was probably feeling pretty frustrated at this point. Had I actually had to kill her, I probably wouldn't have won, but this match went all the way down to the timer stall, and I was able to pick up the win. Ampar is a lot of fun, you just gotta be super patient. If you like the playstyle of picking your opponent, down from range this is the character for you thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what character you'd want to see next i do have an updated rosie guide coming soon for everyone that's been asking for it like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos similar to this one and i'll see you in the next one